Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Corr. I'm at the National Publicity Summit here with Steve Wolf again, one more time. Nice to be back here, Dr. <laughs> it's my pleasure, and you're telling me about some of the things that you started doing after you were doing some things in business, and this is a little bit of a spin-off of your business. So yeah. what happened? Well, I was working as a stunt and special effects coordinator for movies and television shows, and the special effects department has to teach people how to shoot guns, make it look like things are blowing up. So as part of my role in teaching actors how to handle firearms, I'd take them to a range and teach them how to shoot. We, we wanted them to look like they knew what they were doing and to do it safely. And then... And they all do that. They, and they, they all do. do look like they know they, what they're doing. Some, some do, yeah. And, uh, and some <laughs> they've don't. been trained by you. Yes. Then they'll be doing it properly and they'll be doing it safely. And then some of these actors could come back to me and they'd say, I really want to be good at shooting. You know, can you teach me more? And could you teach my wife to shoot? Because she's out with me on set, it's out late at night, I'm worried. You know, we'd like to know how to protect ourselves. So this led to me starting a school called Tactical Choices. And we're now the largest school in Texas. We certify 3,000 people a year to get their concealed handgun licenses. And what this does is it allows nice people to protect themselves from people who really aren't very nice at all. Um, you know, a lot of people in a confrontation, with, they, they'll, they'll talk to somebody who's about to kill them by saying something like, why are you doing this? Well, this person didn't come to you for therapy. You know, they're, they're going to take your stuff and they're going to hurt you. So what are the differences that you find in uh, teaching men in terms of how to uh, handle guns as compared to women? Is it the same? Is it different? No, women, different? women are a lot easier to teach. Why is that? Uh, well, they listen, for one thing. And they don't have any preconceived ideas about what they're supposed to do. And they don't feel that their ego is challenged by admitting that they don't know how to handle a firearm where the guys come in there acting like, you know, I'm supposed to know this. Well, they've seen it on yeah. TV, so they right. think they may know. They're pulling the dirty Harry, all kind of crazy moves that have nothing to do with safe gun handling. So if we take somebody who has no experience, and we just teach them how to do things the right way from the beginning, they end up being perfect shots from the first shot. And I actually guarantee that using the method that I use to teach, that a woman coming through the class will shoot a bullseye on her very first shot. How long does it take a woman to be trained? It takes 10 hours for the basic training to get the concealed handgun license. 30 states now recognize concealed handgun licenses. And so, you know, I mean, the police can't be everywhere. I mean, essentially, the police are armed stenographers. They come after something happened and they write a report about it. And whether that report leads to catching someone, that doesn't unrape you or unkill you or, un, you know, it doesn't undo the effects of violence. Right? If you're going to be safe, it's a matter of you protecting yourself. You want to protect yourself so, in your home. Yeah. How can people get a hold of you? They can reach me at tacticalchoices.com. Wonderful. It's, a, it's really interesting, really just to see that now, for the first time, more than half of the people who come through the classes are women, and they are professional, they are college-educated, career women. And you wouldn't even tell. No, uh, you wouldn't. They may be interested well, these are in nurses. In you know, they might be moms who are working as nurses. They work the night shift. They get out of the hospital you know, at midnight in a bad neighborhood, and they're easily victimized. Well, I had to uh, learn my lesson when I joined the Air Force Reserves. And I was really surprised that uh, they even wanted a doctor uh, to learn how to shoot or how to take care of a gun. And uh, so it was an interesting experience for me as well. And probably no one would ever tell, particularly of the way that I may look now on camera. Sure. But it was a very interesting um, experience and it's not as easy, but I can tell how with, it, with practice you get better and better and with the right uh, teacher you can get to do it super well. Well, as a doctor, I would think you know, they would have a special interest in you being able to keep yourself alive. Well, definitely if you're, you know, if you're in the reserves or if, if you're in any kind of military uh, uh, training, you, yeah. you obviously need this. And then if you have a life that you value, and it doesn't matter if you deposit a lot of money or if you're a jeweler or whatever, you have a right to be alive and keep yourself safe. Keep your store safe. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining me, Stephen. Again, how can people get a hold of you? They can reach me at tacticalchoices.com. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sean. Thanks.